In project view of the TIA portal project, expand the project tree and the CPU listing. Right click the CPU and double click online and diagnostics. Go online with the device. The CPU opens online. Expand the diagnostics listing. If there are several devices in the system and you are unsure of which device you are online with, flash the device LED by clicking the checkbox to physically identify the correct device. Now let's click Diagnostic Status to see the actual state of the device. In this case, the device is online and in an OK status. Now let's take a look at the Diagnostic Buffer. The Diagnostics Buffer opens with several past events listed. We will add some current events by stopping and starting the CPU. Stop the CPU remotely by clicking the Stop button. Note the new entry, Communication Initiated Request Stop. We can start the CPU by clicking the Run button. More new entries are made into the buffer as the CPU restarts. We will click on an event to view other features of the diagnostic buffer. Under Details on Event, a description of the event is given. Note the timestamp as well as other details pertaining to the event. If needed, click the Help for Event button to open the help files. The Information System window opens with the help for the event. You can also open the device or element involved in the Project Editor by clicking the Open in Editor button. You can easily return to the Online and Diagnostics screen by clicking the tab at the bottom of the window. When finished, go offline.